My name is Virginia and I'm a graphic designer. I'm filming this video today because I have a new design challenge that I'm going to be working on for the next 20 weeks. Uh, the challenge is to create 10 projects in 20 weeks, as I said, so it's two weeks per project. The idea of this challenge came about when I was talking or having a conversation with my coach because we were discussing one of my issues, I guess, with um, moving forward on some projects is that I'm a perfectionist which means that I usually get stuck on research or that I have a hard time finishing a project, like really saying, okay, that's done, that's the best it could be, because I always think it can be done better. So I thought this would be a good idea. Well, first of all, to practice my skills, my design skills, also to beat my perfectionism or at least try to avoid it, having some really, really harsh deadlines. And finally, developing my own process. So at the moment, I'm just trying different things in different areas of design. So I think by doing 10 projects in, in 20 weeks, which might sound like a lot, but to be honest, I think it's fair enough because I also have university, I have work, so it's, it's not like I can be doing it every day. I think after these 20 weeks, I'm going to be able to really see a progress, to really see lot of new skills probably because I want to try different things. I'm gonna see a clear process of how I'm doing the things and hopefully by recording these videos I'm gonna be able to also really be conscious of, of how the process develops and how the projects develop. So the first day of each one of the projects I'm gonna be setting some uh, clear steps and deadlines. Well rather than deadlines, time limits so basically, if the first step is, for example, to brainstorm ideas, I'm going to be setting myself 30 minutes to do that, and I cannot go over that because I'm going to have a timer letting me know, hey, your time's up. And I think that's going to help me, as I said, beating perfectionism and also getting stuck on the analysis part of the, of the process. After that first day, I'm just going to dedicate the time that I can according to my schedule. So ideally, I would like to, to dedicate at least half an hour or one hour every day uh, but realistically that might be a bit hard I will just work on it on the time that I have finally on the last day I would like to put a case study together so I can explain what the brief is what the project is about and as also I would like to do some mock-ups and share my my final project on social media this is not the main goal of this challenge but I think it's also going to help me to put stuff out there which has been one of my goals for 2018 and, and well also 2019 to create more to put more content out i think also filming it is going to help me as i said uh, seeing how the process develops forcing a bit of accountability on myself because i have to put the videos up and last but not least one of my goals is to hopefully inspire someone to do a challenge as well uh, it doesn't have to be at the same time as me or uh, two weeks for each project but I think design challenges are really good if you really take the time to consider everything you want to get out of it so basically you have a goal so the reason why I'm doing it in two weeks is because my goal is not to create one logo a day or something like that I really want to do a, a full brief uh, that I understand that I can see the problem the target audience and actually create something that solves that problem so that's it for today. That's the introduction of the of the challenge. I'll be trying to share all the process and, and the day to day on Instagram as well. But at least for the couple of first projects, I'm going to be trying to film everything. And then we'll see from there if I only do recaps or the best of the week or something like that. I hope to see you back soon. And if anyone wants to join the challenge, just let me know. We can do it together. Bye.